So what happened is I was flying through the stage. It's, it's the last stage of the rally. It's what we call a power stage. It's the first time that we're running that here in the national championship. And you get extra points for your finish on this last stage. So we wanted to put in a good time to last you know, stage of the rally. So we know we just got to get to the end and we've got the win. We were just a couple miles from the end, maybe three miles from the end. Uh, and sliding through a corner and I can see through the kind of the corner of my eye some deer right on the other side of the fence and I'm already committed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back for another year of racing. We're kicking it off right here at the 100 Acre Wood Rally. My man Ken is back in action. You know what? You got some. You got some history here. My first ever national win was here. I've won this rally seven times. I should buy some property. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might as well, man. I mean, it's you know what? It's pretty cheap out here. So you kicked off the year Saudi Arabia in the Hunicorn. Yeah, I did demos in Saudi Arabia, at Autoville uh, with the Hunicorn, which was great to be back in the Hunicorn for four days doing demos. Then I went to. Uh, Austria for Audi and we went to the GP ice race and spent some time there with Audi doing demos. I got to drive uh, an S1 Goopy rally car. I got to drive the RSQ, the car that Matthias Ekstrom raced in the Dakar rally. I also got to do some secret driving with the S1 Hunatron and I also got to drive a very nice RS e-tron GT that Audi had done a very cool livery on for me. Well, I actually flew home for one night to have dinner with my daughter for her birthday. <laughs> and then I flew back through Europe to go to Kenya to race East African Safari Classic Rally. So I spent two days testing, nine day race, uh, over 1,100 competitive stage miles. A very cool race, was actually able to win eight of the 22 stages. We were very quick, but we had punctures and some other issues. Then I got to go home for a little bit and then we came here to launch and race this thing and two other cars over here. That is right. So it's already been a huge year so far, but now it's getting even bigger and better. Look, we've got a new car here. This is a 2019 Hyundai i20 WRC car. The story behind this car is pretty interesting because this came really late in the game. Usually you already got the car set up and we know what we're doing like a year in advance, but this basically came in a couple days ago. Negotiating this year for uh, racing deals was a bit difficult. All of the manufacturers are dealing with chip issues and delivery, car delivery issues, all these things. So uh, it's been tough. So we worked out this deal pretty late. The car literally landed in our hands just a few days ago. The shipping container of all the spare parts didn't get to us till last night, the night before the rally starts. That's not how you normally do things. It just isn't. Uh, so I did a quick test in the car the other day. I, I literally only have 15 miles of testing in this car. So what about this like made you decide like I'm going full WRC car this year? It's not very similar to the cars I've raced for many years before this. Yeah, I really like those small, you know, small four cylinder uh, inline engines with that small tight chassis. It's just what I've done so much time in. So Subaru is great, I enjoyed it, but this is more uh, what I enjoy for my driving style. It was just a great opportunity to, to bring a very cool car over, a WRC level car, uh, and race it. Of course, we've had to modify a few things to make it fit into the regulations, adding some weight, running a smaller restrictor. So these things make the car slower, make it more equal to what people are racing here. Because you have two factory Subarus I'm racing against. You also have another 
very similar WRC car run by Barry McKenna that's a Fiesta. So it's a very high level um, at the top of the, the, you know, the pointy stick here in America of the competition. Uh, and so I had to bring a very good car to be able to compete with those guys. This car was available. It's been very competitive. Hyundai's, you know, won, won a bunch of WRC races with this car. And so it was the best uh, opportunity for me to try and battle for a championship title this year. So, Hell yeah. Oh, cool thing about these cars, Hyundai actually won the 2019 and 2020 Manufacturers Championship in the yeah. I-20. Yeah. Um, and a number of other races. I think it's like 17 WRC wins. Fact check me though. It's one of the fastest rally cars in the world. Incredible aero. As far as what I like to do, yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> Couple quick tech specs on this. This car, it packs 1.6 liter inline four, turbocharged. It has been slightly modified to meet ARA regulations, so smaller restrictors we went over. It's also remapped to meet the uh, fuel needs of the ARA. So this runs in what's called an R5.1 fuel. It's running a Sedev six-speed sequential, obviously paddle shifted, uh, suspension duties. This thing has 300 millimeters of travel, which is like basically a foot. It's a little different setup than I've ever dealt with before, the way the drivetrain works, the way the suspension works, and it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to it. Now, Ken, is this the first time you've actually brought a livery over from the year before? Uh, yeah, we've kind of evolved things in the past. Uh, we will have a new livery later in the year with another special project, but that, uh, that's top secret still. And we've continued the It's a Living, so I raced in the Porsche in Kenya in the It's a Living graphic. So we thought it kind of worked well to continue it now and release the new livery a bit later on. But I'm really stoked on it. This is one of my favorite liveries that we've ever made for any of my race cars. So really stoked to have it continue on right now. Some of our like sickest gear actually came from this too. Really stoked on working with Ricardo. Uh, it's a living. Uh, he did an incredible job in the whole package. But we have two other new liveries. You know, my wife's livery was developed in-house. Hey, so you guys stoked? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah. Everything awesome. is happening. Yeah, we're gonna go so fast. Hell yeah. We're gonna crush it. So how do you, how how does the car feel from both seats? Oh, I think it's excellent. It's yeah. Like the best family car I've ever been in. It's really fun and pretty really fast. Yeah. You gonna send it? Yeah. Okay. That's what I like to hear. By the way, your livery looks sick. It's, uh, it's I'm, happy. Yeah, but it's yeah, like, you know, it's, it's got that vintage vibe, you know? And, you know. Vintage like me. Well. There you go. <laughs> I think it turned out really well. It did. It actually, it looks really sick. Leah's car, uh, you know, 15 year old driving on a, a, a driver's permit and she's got a death spray livery. Nice new livery from Ooh. Death Spray. Lord and Death. Dad's two liveries. Um, yeah, it's super sick. I love the colors and it just looks really good on this car. Mm -hmm. When can you get your driver's license? October. Okay, so we're a few months out. Yeah. Okay, so you're technically on a permit. I am, yes. So you can't drive on, you can't drive on roads without supervision, but you can race. I guess.
Sick. <laughs> I mean, technically, your co-driver is a, yeah. yeah, you know, so yeah. It's, it's legal. It's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, first of all, we're not taking it easy, okay? Full sends, go fast, take big chances. You know, big air. So these are two very great grassroots cars, you know, where you can start with a great package like the R2T and then the next step up being this Fiesta that M Sport makes both these, but M Sport, this is a new car from M Sport, sort of grassroots, you know, step into all wheel drive. So it's a great package. It's not that expensive, but the performance is definitely there. Well, Ken, you have got to jump in your suit and start racing here pretty soon. Yeah, we got part for May. Uh, and then we start racing this afternoon. So we have six stages today. So I need to actually go get my suit on. I'll tell you what, do good today. Thank you, sir. All right. First day was really sketchy with all the rain, muddy, slippery conditions, but Travis and I had a good battle going. We are only like 0.2 of a second after the first three stages. He got a puncture, which took about a minute out, you know, added about a minute to his time. Barry got a puncture, which added about a minute to him, and, and Brandon went pretty quick, but I went quicker, so I was 30 seconds up in the lead at the end of day one. Not what I was expecting for my first time, you know, racing this car. We started day two today. Clear skies, beautiful, really fun stages. By the end of the day, going to the last stage, we had a 45 second lead. It was all good till three miles from the end of the rally. A uh, deer decided to interrupt my chance at an eighth win at this rally. Is this engine oil or is this trans Yeah, fluid? well this is engine oil. So the deer hit somewhere here, got flung off, and I'm instantly assessing things. The car's still running, it's not running great. Okay, can I shift? I can't, can't shift. And all of a sudden I can't, I start to not be able to see. So I have a 45 second lead, so I'm like, okay, I, I just gotta get to the end three miles in less than 45 seconds. I'm really bummed about the bad luck and not finishing first overall and getting my eighth win, but we did finish second. We get to walk away with this event with second overall. Got a lot of good time in the car. I know coming in the next race what I can do with the car. Yeah, I, I gotta take away the positives, I have to, right? I, yeah, man. It sucks, I wanted my eighth win. I, we put in a lot of effort. Uh, the entire Hoonigan Racing and 2C team did a great job getting me this car with it all, everything arriving late to be able to go out and win. And we came to this close eighth win of this rally in, in the palms of my hand, in the palm of my hand. Right, right, there. right, right there. <laughs> Is that fur? Fur, yeah, fur. Wow.